Good afternoon. This is Dr. Seabuck, and I thought I'd go ahead in the middle of final exams and do my video of introduction in order to get us started. Um, so just a reminder um, that we each need to get a video of introduction into the discussion board. You can do that as a Tegrity recording. You can do it as a YouTube recording, whatever works for you, recording on your phone, as long as you can upload it into the discussion board. So I'm Dr. Seabuck. Um, I have been teaching at St. Mary's University for uh, 14 years now. I am a clinical psychologist. Um, that's my specialty within psychology. And in particular, I have expertise in pediatric neuropsychology. So working with children with brain injuries, um, developmental differences that play out in brain structure and function. Um, and clinically, my specialty is working with people with eating disorders anorexia nervosa in particular, but also families and children, um, particularly children with depression, anxiety, and other sorts of um, disorders of childhood. Um, so that's professionally who I am. I am the chair of the psychology department. I'm an associate professor. Um, if all goes well, I will be a full professor by the start of the fall. Uh, and that's a uh, an explanation that doesn't matter for this course in terms of what that distinction is. Um, I really value our Lasallian mission at St. Mary's University. Um, so some of the way that we do our course will reflect that, um, that we set the bar high for everyone and provide scaffolding to help each of you reach that level of excellence. Um, so a little bit more about me outside of who I am professionally. I enjoy the arts. Um, I grew up in a family that enjoyed the arts. Um, each of us did something for sports along the way, um, but we are not a sports family, um, the family in which I grew up. So um, I enjoy music. I've been in choirs um, pretty much from high school through now. I play French horn. And while I played French horn in junior high, high school, and the beginning of college, I then took a few decades off, and I recently went back to playing French horn about six years ago. And I play with different bands in the summer. Um, so any of you in the area, if you go to hear a lacrosse concert band, um, I'll play for about half of those concerts this summer on the Mississippi River. And then I also play in another concert band in the summer and a different one during the school year. Um, I also enjoy art making. Um, so while I don't have much training in fine arts, I take a class here and there in painting or drawing. Um, but I enjoy photography, painting. Um, I don't enjoy drawing. I'm not particularly good at it. But I do enjoy painting, photography, um, playing with color. Um, so on occasion, you'll see in the background um, some of the things that I've made that I hang on my walls at home. Right now I'm recording in my office at St. Mary's. And during the summer when I record lectures, fairly often I will be doing that at my house. Um, so I will apologize now um, for one thing that will likely happen periodically in recordings. Um, I have two dogs. Um, I have pretty much always had dogs in my life except for college and graduate school um, when I was living in dorms and apartments. Um, but as soon as I finished with my postdoctoral fellowship, I was then able to buy my first house. So I've had dogs in my life um, anytime I could do that. And now is no exception. I have two small dogs at this point. Well, one small and one medium. And my small dog likes to bark to let the world know when something is happening, somebody's passing by. Um, so you will, on occasion, hear from Daisy, who is a 20-pound terrier mix. She doesn't bark a lot, but you will hear her when I'm recording from home. And probably more often, you'll hear from Violet, who is a 7-pound Chinese crested dog. Um, both, I've, all of my dogs have been rescue dogs. These two are no exception. Um, Violet happens to be a... a um, we think she's a purebred dog. Um, she didn't come with papers, but she came with vet records. So she's a Chinese crested dog. Um, she likes to bark at everything that walks by my house. So you will, sadly, on occasion, hear from her. 
if she's barking too much, I will pause the recording and then go back to it. Um, so if that's ever an issue, if there was something that you couldn't hear, please let me know. Um, I try to be very cognizant of when that's happening so that I pause um, or stop recording until they're done barking. But you will, a lot of my recordings will be from home. Um, okay, so that's what I do for fun. I also love gardening. So um, when I'm not online with all of you and I'm not responding to your writing or your discussions, uh, then I may well be either making music, uh, making some art, or um, working in my garden. I, I love playing with growing vegetables and flowers. Um, anyway, so that's what I do for fun. That's who I am. Also, I am not from Minnesota. Um, one of the things that I have learned about during my time in Minnesota is Minnesota nice. So I'm originally from New England. Um, Minnesota nice for me becomes a frustration when we have academic discussions. So we're going to address that right now. Uh, often in Minnesota nice, when people disagree, they don't acknowledge that they're disagreeing. So I've heard in discussions, people often say things like, oh, I agree with you and, and then go on to disagree. So I ask that you not do that because that's confusing in an academic discussion. What I would like you to do is to say, um, I understand your point, Anna, or whoever the person is you're talking to. I do want you to use names. I understand your point, Anna. However, I'm looking at that differently. Or you could say, I respectfully disagree with you, Nate. I was thinking about this from this perspective. And then offer your opinion and your evidence for your opinion. All right. So I think that's enough of an introduction for me. Please post your own introductory videos, and um, before we start class on May 20th, please watch every other person's video and leave a comment um, acknowledging that you heard the video, and let's start to get to know each other. Alrighty, take care. I look forward to getting to know you all. Bye-bye.